hey, I'm conflicted, and rappers have been making money doing other things for years upon years upon years, stacked on years. So today we're going to be talking about just that. With that being said, though, get your cranberry juice, get your Cheerios, and if you enjoy music-related content, consider watching this all the way through. It lets me know you guys are locked in on the content. With that being said, though, let's get right into this video. So we're going to start this off by talking about the very obvious ones. Kanye West, bro. Everybody knows Kanye West sells Yeezys. And he just recently had a sale. We made everything $20. All of his clothing, all of his shoes. These really funny looking sock shoes that I ended up actually buying because I'm interested to see what they feel like. So if you are wondering what these Yeezy pods feel like, text me or comment on another video. And, I, and I'll let you know personally, bro. I will personally let you know what these feel like on my tootsies. With that being said though, Ice Cube is also a very big actor, everybody knows stuff like that. And the first rapper to ever do a side hustle is Soldier Boy with the Soldier Game Council. Obviously, he's the first rapper to do everything, so he kinda, before everybody was even born, Soldier Boy was kinda just like, creating consoles and selling stuff. But he actually, unironically, he did make a uh, Soldier Boy Game Council, and it was pretty much just a ripoff of a Nintendo console, a really old Nintendo console that is and he sold it for an incredibly overpriced amount. The next person on this list is the T Grizzly Bear Baby. He has a job at Home Depot, he works part time, as well as he's a nurse. T Grizzly's a nurse? I'm, I'm impressed, shout out T Grizzly for being a nurse. He also is an Uber driver, which I find interesting, and a waiter. T Grizzly's a man of many talents, very interesting man, and I think he's one of the best examples of a rapper getting a different job. Also, Travis Scott is trying to get into Harvard to study architecture. You know, he's trying to make a building or something. Travis Scott also made a movie at a point, and a lot of artists are making movies and stuff like that. We've seen Key Glock talking about being in a movie or making a movie. Even 21 Savage acted like he was going to be a part of a movie or make a movie at a time, which we all got kind of pranked, I guess. Playboy Cardi, though, works at H&M, which I find interesting. They have some pretty good outfits there. Could have inspired him to make some of his merchandise that's incredible, beautiful merchandise that I cannot say anything about. Eminem was a cook at a point, which in my opinion is pretty funny. I can't really imagine Eminem just sitting there flipping Krabby Patties and stuff like that. But I mean, low-key, bro. Low-key, I feel like Eminem could chef it up in the kitchen a little bit. He also, if you didn't know, was a, a battle rapper. I don't think he really got paid a lot for that, but it was kind of his way of getting really big in the Detroit area. But at the end of the day, all these artists have to get by at some point, you know? A lot of the time, you can't immediately get a big record deal when you first start making music. It's like majority of the time. So they have to kind of survive on their own for a little bit before they can actually successfully embark on their music career. Another incredibly obvious one is Childish Gambino slash Donald Glover. He has his own show on Netflix, which is Atlanta. I think it's an incredibly acted show, incredibly everything about it, I'm not gonna lie to you. And everybody knows that Donald Glover is an all-around type of guy, so I think it's one of the more obvious ones. But also, my last example here is Babytron with his game that he released, his mobile ad game, which was, in my opinion, the game was garbage, but it was also incredibly fun to play. I was sitting there getting mad at it for a minute. I have it on screen right now. Probably. I don't know if I have it on screen right now. Let me know if I have it on screen right now. If I did, then you should subscribe because it took time to edit, you know? All this stuff is edited on my phone. But with that all being said, what do you guys think I missed? Do you have any artists that you were like a big fan of who had a bunch of different jobs previously that I, that I didn't talk about? Let me know in the comments below for a chance to get pinned. I'm very interested to see if you guys have any more. I love you all very much. I'm conflicted and I'm out. Peace.